But we did look at a little bit of snow earlier on today, and we still have a few snow showers out there right now. Let's go ahead and take a look at the scene from Capulain. And throughout the morning hours, we have seen snow showers off and on, and you can actually see the snow falling in this shot. Some snow now on the ground, and we will continue to see a couple of snow showers over the northeastern portions of New Mexico throughout the afternoon. Another area where we're continuing to look for snow showers this afternoon is over the northern mountains, Red River Ski Area, seeing a little bit of cloud cover through the morning hours, and they will continue to see a few light snow showers. They picked up about nine inches very near Red River earlier on this morning, and we will continue to look for at least scattered snow showers through the afternoon hours before things start to taper off. In the metro, we are high and dry now. We have partly cloudy skies, and we do have a temperature a bit cooler than what we've seen all week long at this time. 43 degrees is the current temperature, and west northwest wind at 10 miles per hour. We have cooled down quite a bit, especially over the northern half of the state, where we have seen that snowfall. 35 right now in Las Vegas, 36 in Taos, 37 currently in Raton, 32 in Alamosa. We're even cooling things down in the south, too. We're at 53 in Roswell, 57 in Carlsbad, and 54 currently in Alamogordo. We are looking at just a few scattered snow showers now starting to exit the state. We are looking Looking at some snowfall just to the north of New Mexico, some of the heavier snowfall still on its way in Colorado, and we are looking for a few more scattered snow showers over the northern mountains. We have a few over the Jemez Mountains as well as the Sangre de Cristo Mountains, and those will continue at least through the afternoon hours. We continue with winter weather advisories through six o'clock tonight for the Sangre de Cristo Mountains and parts of the northeast. The whole storm system itself starting to move out of the state of New Mexico. Behind it, we will get a little bit of wraparound moisture, but not much to play with. Most of that will be in Colorado, where they continue. To get hammered with quite a bit of snowfall. Travel in the eastern Colorado, not a very good idea as we move throughout the afternoon as the storm system continues to depart. We have dropped a cold front through the state, and that will cool us down not only for this afternoon, but also as we move into Saturday as well. Temperatures dropping quite a bit from what we've seen over the earlier part of the week. In fact, as that front pulls through, we are looking for parts of the northeast to drop by as much as 20 degrees with daytime highs only in the 30s through tomorrow. Down in the southeast, Temperatures here will drop as much as 20 degrees as well. We're looking at temperatures to only make it to the 50s through at least Sunday down in the southeast. A far cry from those 70 degree temperatures that we've seen earlier in the week. In the metro, we'll only drop by about 5 degrees, but we'll keep highs in the upper 40s through at least Saturday and Sunday. And in the west, temperatures drop by about 10 degrees with highs only in the 40s. So we will be cooling down quite a bit and we'll break it down zone by zone for you. Starting off in southern Colorado, where temperatures will be in the 30s with mostly cloudy skies. We did see the chance for some morning snow showers. Now we're starting to clear out over the four corners and we'll continue to see more sunshine by the end of the week as temperatures warm back to the 40s. Over the northwest, we did have a spot mixed this earlier this morning. Now we go with partly cloudy skies for the afternoon and we start to break out into more sunshine for Saturday and Sunday with temperatures back into the mid to upper 40s by the beginning of next week. Over the southwest, temperatures here in the 50s with mostly sunny skies, and we will continue to see at least some cloud cover Saturday into Sunday with temperatures in the low 40s. Then we're near 50 by Tuesday before a chance of a couple of showers Wednesday into Thursday. Southeast, temperatures here a lot cooler than what we've seen much of the week, only into the 50s and 60s with mostly sunny skies. Northwest winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. We'll stay in the low 50s for Saturday and Sunday. And then we start to rebound those temperatures near 60 degrees by the middle of next week. Chance of showers on Thursday. Northeast, Temperatures here only in the 20s for Capulain, 30s and 40s elsewhere with isolated snow in through the afternoon as we continue with a chance of a couple of scattered snow showers through the afternoon hours. And then we go into more sunshine for Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures back near 50 by Monday and Tuesday. Northern mountains, temperatures in the 20s and 30s, mostly cloudy with snow continuing through the afternoon. Then we watch for more sunshine into the weekend as temperatures make their way back to the mid 40s. East mountains, temperatures in the 40s with mostly cloudy skies. We could get a spot snow shower, but I think we'll stay dry throughout much of the afternoon. Metro will stay dry through the afternoon with temperatures in the upper 40s. And as we move into the next couple of days, we'll see more sunshine for the upcoming weekend. Temperatures near 50 by the start of next week. That snow was pretty this morning, though. It, it was very nice. We do need the precip. Yeah, we do. Thanks a lot, John.